The Prime Minister wants to shut the Scottish Parliament out of the Brexit process, according to Scotland's Brexit Secretary. In a letter sent to UK counterpart Steve Barclay, Mike Russell sought clarification on Scotland's role after comments from the PM on Wednesday. Mr Johnson told Ian Blackford the Scottish Parliament had no role in passing his Brexit deal. I have written to the Speaker of the House of Commons following the Prime Minister's comments this afternoon at hashtag PMQs. The Tories must not roll back devolution. The hashtag Brexit bill cannot proceed without the consent of the Scottish Parliament. No ifs, no buts. Pick.twitter.com slash grvxlxpv5p. Ian Blackford, at Ian Blackford MP, October 23, 2019. The SNP's Westminster leader wrote to Commons Speaker John Burko following the Prime Minister's comments. Under a political convention in the devolution settlement, consent should be sought from the legislatures of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland if the UK government is looking to rule on devolved matters. The approval, known as a legislative consent motion, is not legally binding and the UK government can forge ahead without it. Mr Russell said a letter was received from Brexit Under Secretary James Dudridge on October 20 asking for the Scottish Parliament's consent on the New Deal. Mr Russell wrote, during Prime Minister's questions, Mr Johnson said, in response to Ian Blackford, the Scottish Parliament has no role in approving this deal. On the contrary, it is up to the members of this Parliament to approve the deal. The UK government has already conducted a power grab on the Scottish Parliament when it tore up established constitutional rules during the passage of the EU Withdrawal Act. For the first time since devolution was established the UK government legislated for devolved matters and changed the powers of the Scottish Parliament without the consent of MSPs. Now the Prime Minister has gone further and, contrary to the letter from James Dudridge, appears to want to shut the Scottish Parliament out entirely from a process that clearly impacts in many ways on divulged policy areas. The Scottish Brexit Secretary added, the idea of the United Kingdom as a partnership of equal nations has been a casualty of the Brexit process. The Scottish Parliament that so many people in Scotland voted for must not be cast aside in your government's pursuit of a Brexit that people in Scotland do not want. For more on this story, visit the news article link.